2025 Mercedes-Benz Sprinter van with OGV setup. This is a business class. This is 170 inches. We have upgraded the wheels and tires to these chrome Mercedes wheels. Now again, what's really important to know is that anything from the front door to this part and the chassis underneath the van is all covered through Mercedes-Benz for three years, 36,000 miles, five years, 50,000 mile powertrain. That starts the date of the contract. That's an extremely important factor to these. Because again, what that means is that we've worked out a deal with Mercedes where the chassis warranty doesn't start until after, or until the, the build date, which is really important because most of these online, they start the day Mercedes has it leave the dealership, which is not a good situation for you because you're gonna be about a year out till these things get built and then you have one less year of warranty. Now on anything from here back, inside the van is covered under one year of warranty through OGV van. That's the builder. As I mentioned yesterday, these are all diesels. This particular one has a dually wheel set up with the upgraded wheel package from Mercedes. And that's a good setup because that's gonna help reduce a lot of bump, uh, bumpy ride and make you, it'll, it'll help uh, reduce a lot of the top sway in the vehicle as well. So it'll keep it a little bit more grounded. This plugs in so that way you can have power to the direct to the van without having the car turn on so you can still run, you know, the TV and stuff like that while you're hanging out. Back here, you also have the extra spare TV. You just have a couple of extra spares here that we built or that you have on this. This is a full 42 inch TV in the back with the speaker set up and it's obviously got Bluetooth connection. It does have a tow hitch underneath this cap. Kind of like what the Escalades do. And you also have a step up as well. There's your backup camera way up there. Again, power sliding door. Coming up to it, you see the red button? That's the button you would press on the inside of the van when you want to close it. When you want to close it from the outside, it's literally just a one pull, let go of the door handle and it will close for you. It is very, very important to have patience with these doors. You do not need to sit there and pull it two or three times. It's literally a one pull, let go, let the car do it, all the work for you. Very easy, very convenient. Same thing when you close from the inside. You hold down the button one time, that's all you need. So in here you have a little bit of storage going back there. Nice little ad that they did in the 25 design, which is really cool. This used to just be like this leather right here. But they did that little design to make it look a little bit more appropriate getting into the van. Also being that this is a 2025 build on the inside of the van, you're gonna have all of this new technology, which is really cool because this is a lot easier of a of an info system to control and use. And you're going to have this one here, you're going to have that one there, and you're going to have that one over there, and those can detach from the wall as well. So it's pretty convenient. Now, these two chairs are just, they do not recline, and they do not have seats that come up because you have storage underneath on the right side. And you have a little ice chest on the left side. Pretty nice. Cup holders, these are only heated seats. Trash can, HDMI and USB plug-in. There is your uh, window that comes up and down. That can be controlled by this screen, by those screens, or by the screen up front with the driver. 30, or. Er, 42 inch TV with JL audio sound system. 
little bit of storage in all of these guys. It only fits about a hand width of depth in there, so it's not like you're putting a lot of stuff in there, but you know, paper towels and whatnot. And you can see it goes all the way down to the end. These are gonna be your trays. And those are gonna be anywhere you see one of these. So you're gonna have it on each captain chair, except this one. Now these are gonna recline, and that's with this button right here. You can see it's pretty quick and it moves pretty fast. And then your actual recline for the seat is back here. It's gonna be this guy. And obviously when you're sitting there, it'll go backwards for you. USB plug-ins on both sides for charging and whatnot, and then the heated seat. Now these shades are manual but they're really nice. Oh, wait. Yeah, there you go. Emergency window right there. And again, these are all manual. Just pull it up and down. Very easy to control. I prefer the manual ones because the power ones just end up breaking all the time and it's one extra thing that you got to worry about fixing. Coming back here, you can see how this folds out like this. Very convenient. You can have a little bed back here that you can lay on. And then obviously you were asking about how many seats. Again, you got four back here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten up in the front. You got one second. See how they detach? Really cool. Makes it very convenient, easy, and it's all backed by Garmin. Really sick setup. These layouts are only with the 2025 builds. You cannot get them in the 2024 builds. That's why it's extremely important to understand that the 25 build is all of this in here. It's all the new leather, the new infotainment systems it's adding those little details to the car that are going to help increase um, the value yeah you can see you can do front lights mid lights you can raise it you can lower it partition wall oops there we go You're also going to be able to get back here and control your climate and you can see all of your power out sources and how you can control all of that. Pretty cool. Hopefully this video helps a little bit to kind of understand a little bit more how these things work. Again, everything from here forward is all covered by Mercedes-Benz. You would literally just take it to a Mercedes-Benz dealer. If it has anything to do with the rear, you would contact OGV Vans or reach out to us. You're gonna have some storage. USB plug-ins with phone mirroring. There's your emergency brake right here. Each one of these seats has an armrest. You just pull all the way down and then you pull it up to where you want it to be stationary. Obviously power seat with memory seating. These only come with heated seats. You cannot get these with cooled seats. On this side, on the driver's side, you can see the VINs. Okay, this is where you put your diesel fuel only, so it's on the driver's side. The door has to be open to get to this.
41 miles. You have Distronic Cruise Control, Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. When you want to turn these vans on, they're pretty simple. The master power button right here, it's the closest button to the column, is going to be the power for back there. Okay? So when you turn the van on, you just turn it on like this. Let the van get going. Now, right now it's going to come on right away because the van's been on for a little bit. But let's say this van has been sitting for about, I don't know, two days or three days. This would not come on right away. You're going to have to let the van get going, get the juice, get the batteries flowing. And then maybe every 20 seconds you try to hit that until it turns on. This button is the intercom, so that way I can talk to the people in the back with the uh, window up. So that's kind of cool that you have that feature. This is the refrigerator power, so it helps cool the cooler in the back that you saw back there. This button closes the door. So as you can see, the driver has access to close and open the door for their clients. And again, that's just literally a one-touch button. It opens all the way up. And then you're also going to see you the driver has its own control up here as well. Again, 2025 only. So if you're looking at 24s, you're not going to be able to get these additional great features that you see. There's the backup camera, and you have sensors all around the car. You can touch the screen, and you can change it to point of views, just for the backup. Now again, as I mentioned earlier in our conversations, if you want to get massage seating added, you figure it's about $1,500 a seat. If you want to add bird's eye view cameras onto the car, so you would get cameras uh, that would you know, point down uh, in the mirrors so you could see the sidewalls we would get you a little Garmin piece that would go right here and that would give you bird's eye view camera to look down and that would just integrate into the info system of the car and that's probably gonna run you about 2500 bucks if you want to do that so at the end of the day I hope this video really kind of helps a little bit if you have any more questions feel free to reach out to me I do appreciate you Jordan and uh, we look forward to earning your business let me know if there's anything else that I can do.